Hi everyone, it's Dave from Medimatch. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the mandibular movement tool in MedicScan for Clinics. So as you can see here, I've got scanned in my upper, my lower, and my bite as normal. I've captured a good amount of soft tissues um, on the buccal faces of the posteriors on both sides of the bite. And then in the bottom right hand corner, we've got our mandibular movement button. So if we click on it here, uh, it gives us a few tips here. Um, basically, the teeth need to be together when you start scanning. Um, and if you drift too far apart, um, the, the, cap, uh, the scanner will lose its position. So we press confirm. So at the bottom here, we've got these four icons. We've got one for free movement, one for um, left excursion, one for right, and one for protrusion. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna do this on a model, so it's not the easiest, so bear with me, but I'm gonna leave it on the free movement one at the moment. And I'm going to get my scanner into position and I'm going to tap the button. Okay, so we've got this blue box that shows us uh, that we're, we're capturing data and that we're picking up uh, where we left off. If, the, if it goes this colour, you can see I've lost my position. I just need to bring it back down. Okay, so I'm going to move the models now. Oops. I'll bring them back together and I'll tap the scan button again and we are now going to record that uh, that movement and it will be saved with the with the case data so it'll take a few seconds to process Okay, so we've got a little tick down here next to the free movement icon. <clears throat> we'll try and do a, a left movement now. So same thing, we pick a side. Um, and oh, I need to click on the, uh, the correct icon. And do that again. So tap the scan button, let it find its position. And then we can ask the patient to move to the left. Tap the stop button. And I'll process that one. We'll do the right side now. Tap the button, let it process, and then finally we'll do the protrusion. If you lose position, just go back to where you started, refine your position. Move to your protrusion, bring it back, press the stop button. And that's it, that's all of the movements captured. Okay, so at this stage, um, I've just turned the scanner off. At this stage we can we can review any of these, so if you wanted to look at uh, the left and right, so this is the left, you can press play. Okay. Same for the, uh, the right. And then the protrusion. Okay, so once we're happy, we can click the uh, exit button down here. And you can see we've now got a little tick next to the uh, mandibular movement icon in the bottom. So we can press save. 
save the case and then each of those mandibular movements will be saved in our file viewer in medit link okay so here we are back in medit link the case has processed and we're now at scan completed and you can see under dynamic occlusion in the file viewer we've got all of our movements recorded um, both for the upper and the lower um, for free movement, lateral left, right and protrusive um, so if we were to turn off for example sorry turn on the left so these uh, SCLs are the, are the new positions if you like and you can see the original scan here so you can see it's protruded to the uh, to the left by by this line here um, additionally to that if we just turn this off and we've also got the mandibular movement icon here so we can click on this it'll open up a new window and we can click between any of the movements we just made um, and we can play them back so all of this information can be then taken into a CAD package such as ExoCAD, ExoCAD Chairside. Okay, well I hope that's, uh, that's helped a few people out. Um, please go to medimatch.co.uk for all of your scanning, uh, printing and milling requirements. Thanks for watching.